Santos here, wonderful Stockton, California. I hope that you are doing super fantastic, terrific, and over the top. Anyways, I have a confession to make, and I'm sorry that I have to do it here live, but I'm addicted. I am addicted. I'm addicted to, to making videos, to doing micro speeches. So here it is, another one. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best to keep this one short. It's a how-to video. We're gonna talk about excuses. We're gonna talk about how we can stop the pattern or the lifestyle of excuses, okay? Let's get into this thing. Number one, in order for us to want to stop uh, making excuses, there has to be something that's triggering that. There's no way that we will be able to overcome this lifestyle or these, these hypnotic states if we don't have something that we honestly want. And what we're after is the lifestyle. If you want to stop making excuses, it's simply because of the fact that you want the lifestyle that is completely opposite to a lifestyle that is of making excuses. And I tell you, it's a true blessing. It is a true blessing when you are no longer making excuses when you are acknowledging, when you are owning your own crap, you don't have to hide from people, you don't have to feel depressed, you can be up and coming, full of energy all the time, because you know you have defeated another bully. And it's all about belief systems and paradigms, and we'll get into that in a minute. But that's what you're after. See, you're after that pleasure if you truly want to stop making excuses. Now, you gotta have the desire, right? Part of the, part of the, uh, the DPOA, and I'll get into that in a minute, that you're gonna have to create for yourself to desire that we wanna stop, okay? Now, how do you acknowledge, how do you acknowledge making excuses in other words, why do we make excuses? Why? Where do, where do excuses come from? And why are they so powerful and so damaging? I'm reminded of the book of Genesis early on. Adam and Eve were created by our creator. I believe that. Yes, I do read the Bible a little bit. And there was a law or laws were set in the land in that area. And they basically broke the law. Our ancestors, they broke the law. And they began to make excuses. The man, and that has passed on for thousands of years to you and I. And it's been embedded, embedded deep, deep into our subconscious along with all the other sin that we uh, have in our lives that we must learn to overcome on a daily basis. So it's deep. We've been programmed. We've been hypnotized. And of course, being around other people and growing up, that didn't add, that didn't help it either. That all of that added to the to that those belief systems and those patterns. But why is it though? Why is it? We don't really know why. Uh, we don't know the exact reason why Adam and Eve did what they did. But uh, we have learned quite a bit since that time. And honestly, we make excuses for different reasons. In fact, excuses come in different colors and different sizes. They come in different names. They, uh, they're, they're basically sabotaging us left and right. And excuses, you know, excuses actually feel good to us. And I'll tell you why. Because of the fact that we've been programmed by these belief systems, and we have, you and I have many, many different belief systems that we operate with on a daily basis. In fact, there are there are paradigms and belief systems that we operate on that we, we may not even have any awareness, conscious awareness that is operating in our minds. I talk a lot about success and building foundation now and inner aware awareness, you know, interrogating yourself, digging deep down inside yourself, wanting to find out why you tick. That's what I love asking people questions because I want to know what why are they doing what they're doing you know where are they going and, and we basically it's a it's a protection mechanism 
we make excuses, you know, when we when we know that we should do something, we, we don't do it, we procrastinate, we, we move closer and closer to the river of denial, right? I'm not talking about going over there near Egypt and those uh, Libyan, those places in Iraq. That's not what I'm talking about. We get closer and closer to that river of denial. Like I said, it comes in different forms. Making excuses comes in different forms. And only you yourself can honestly acknowledge how it's operating in your life. You see, as a life coach, I can help you, right? I can help you. I can't, I can't make you quit. I can hold you accountable. We can work together and get a plan and work that plan. But ultimately, that plan, really, the, the DPOA, the daily plan of action, is going to be predicated upon you and your commitment to this new lifestyle. It's not going to happen unless you formulate a plan. And you're not going to be able to formulate a plan unless you acknowledge, you know, why you're doing what you're doing. Where, where do these things come from? They're deep. They're deep. They're embedded. They're going to operate in your, in your life. They're going to continue to operate. It's like that record that I talked about in one of my other videos. That record will keep playing will keep playing until you scratch those grooves and that needle can no longer follow those grooves. Or those... That movie that's continually playing in your head. You gotta, you gotta change the channel. The point in all of this that I'm making right now is that you have to acknowledge yourself. You gotta, you gotta sit down and you gotta be willing to write. By the way, if you don't have a pad or some kind of a writing utensil, please get one so that you can gather. Because you're gonna get some nuggets. You're gonna get some golden thoughts into your mind. They're gonna pop as I continue to share in this micro speech. That's what this is about. It's about educating ourselves, building a foundation, creating creating lifelong lasting progress that begins with change. So you gotta formulate a plan, right? We don't we don't plan to fail, we fail because we don't plan ultimately. And you're the master. You are the master. You're the one that knows you better than anybody else knows you. As a life coach, it's not my job to change you. You know, I'm here to light the spark. I'm here to, you know, as they say, one candle lights another candle. That candle doesn't lose its flame. I'm here to help you get that pilot light going so that you can build, you can create that lifestyle. Now, part of this DPOA, as I mentioned earlier, is linking pleasure because it's a discipline. To, you know, to change your life, to make changes, to study, to write, to read, to do all of those things. It's a discipline. And you're not going to do those unless you link a certain pleasure to that activity. And you have to think, you have to visualize, what would your life be like if you were no longer making excuses? Imagine how your day would go at work when you failed. Even if it got you fired, if you made a mistake and you got you fired, you copped up to your own crap and you didn't make any excuses, well, you're, you're building a, a, a positive lifestyle, you'll, you'll possibly end up with a better job next time because of the fact that you had some integrity in your life, right? People have accidents all the time. I remember one time a car hit when I was younger. My mother was taking me to high school. We parked in front of the school and when we got out, somebody bumped us from the back. Sometime later, we found out that that person, I don't remember if it was a woman or a man, they had lied. They made excuses to their insurance company and they were trying to come after my mother. They said my mother backed into them. So people make excuses and we see it. We go out into town and we, we're, we're just professionals. We are professional excuse makers or excuse expressors. I'm telling you, it's, it is, it's disturbing and it's very dark. And it hurts us every time that we make an excuse. It hurts us. It does. It literally sets us back. You know, we think that we're being protected. It makes us feel good. It keeps us in a comfort zone. And all it's doing is basically sabotaging us. It's hurting us. Our own belief system, our own mind. That's why we have to attack it there at the root. We have to attack it there. And again, daily plan of action. How are you going to get yourself to attack those <clears throat> belief systems and scratch that record. You got to formulate a plan. You got to plug into the sources that are going to actually help you. And only you can honestly do that, really. I mean, you can have help, 
but only you know why you do what you do, when you do it, and for what reasons. The more that you become self-aware of this, the, the quicker and the easier it's going to be for you to destroy this lifestyle. And on top of all of this, you're not going to form, well, you, you will form, obviously, if you want to stop, you're going to develop belief. The more belief that you have in yourself that you can do something, that's going to cause you to keep going further. That's why you have to start somewhere. You have to acknowledge it and you have to start somewhere so that the momentum begins to be created in your life. The more belief, the more belief, the more that you believe in yourself, the more you fail, because you're gonna fail through this. This is gonna be a lifelong journey of overcoming this lifestyle, making excuses. I tell you, because they go deep inside of us. But as we focus on the blessing, that's key. You focus on the blessing and what could be. Imagine that lifestyle. I tell you, it feels good to me. I've been able to overcome many, many things in my life. Gambling, 30 plus years of gambling. I remember I lost quite a bit. Lost a job, lost my place of living. I lost a lot of things and on top of that, thousands and thousands of dollars. Making excuses left and right so that people didn't know. My mind, my mind was deceiving me. That bully, that lie, that gambling lie, it was making excuses for me. I finally kicked it to the curb tell you it's freedom man freedom and I'm grateful to my Lord my God my Creator so and lastly you got to execute you got to be willing to execute that daily plan of action now of course you're gonna execute if you're gonna go through this process right the process of interrogating yourself man why am I doing this this is destroying me you know how do I stop and you just, you're the master. You do not stop until you overcome. And you make that a complete habit, a complete lifestyle in your life. That's the foundation. That's what's going to cause us to grow and make progress in other areas of our life. So let's go over this real quick, okay? You want to learn to link pleasure to the discipline, okay? Okay. You, you're, you are after that positive lifestyle of no longer making excuses. Believing. Believing. You got to believe in yourself in order to keep this momentum going, right? How are you going to believe? You got to be willing to take the steps. Uh, and, and you're not going to do this unless you have the desire to stop. Of course, the desire to stop comes first, right? You got to remember, you're the master. You're the one that's going to formulate the plan that's going to help you execute every day. Now, you can have a coach. You can have books, you can have all kinds of things, but ultimately, you are the master. You're the one that's going to help yourself get through this. And uh, along with executing, and you don't stop. You don't look back. You know what? You draw a line in the cement. You say, this is the way it is. You don't look back, and you just go forward, man. Every single day, every single day, until it gets easier and easier and easier. So, with that said, this is Santos once again. I'm going to believe that you've gotten something from this video Please share it. Share this micro speech. If indeed you have gotten some golden nuggets and it's caused you to think, right? Because that's what it's all about. Comment below, subscribe, like, and share this video. Let's make an impact. Let's change lives. Let's do something different that's going to be left behind when you and I are gone because our clock is running. Our clock is running. So with that said, I'll see you on the inside with another video. I believe in you. I truly believe that you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. So I'll see you on the next video at the top with some other content. Remember to make every single day a super fantastic, terrific over the top day, daily. Peace.